And at the top of the newscast, we also told you about another mom who left their eight-month-old daughter in the car at the HEB in Fredericksburg. That child ended up being okay. But this morning, uh, Stuart Williams is here to offer up tips for parents. He's the injury prevention manager at Dell Children's with the Safe Kids Austin Coalition. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. So I know before this last week, there were some national stories about this happening, and now it seems to be hitting, you know, here in Austin as our temperatures are way above 100. I know parents are likely sitting at home hearing these stories, some of them saying, how could this happen? How could a parent do this? Right. Um, well, the first, first thing is it's never okay to leave a child in a, in a car ever. Um, even with the windows down just for a few minutes, it's never okay. Um, with that being said, this typically happens um, with the cases that have occurred, uh, typically happens um, with a change in routine. A mom um, who typically is taking care of a child now um, for one particular reason or another, um, dad or another caregiver has that child for a, a brief moment in time and it's out of their normal routine. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a forgetfulness that um, often is the case, but it's not in every case. There are some intentional cases, there are some neglectful cases. So um, you have to take a lot of different things in the spectrum there. Mm -hmm. I know one of the things that pops into my mind when I see these stories or when I have to cover one of these stories is just how busy parents are and they're multitasking and they may be going through something in their life or just be completely stressed out. If there is any excuse for it, that's what often pops up in my mind. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, there is a lot of... Uh, busy things in our life, uh, you're on your phones, you're, you're trying to deal with your own calendar, and then, you, I mean, you have your child, not to, not to say that they're um, uh, an issue in, in life, but, you know, you're a parent, and you're busy in multiple different spectrums, and so um, knowing that your child is with you um, and, and creating simple reminders for yourself in your busy schedule um, and some of that can be as simple as just putting something in the back seat that you need when you get to the destination um, that you are going to um, remember um, if it's a change in routine. So mm -hmm. put your purse, or put your briefcase, put your bag, um, whatever that might be. Put your phone that takes care of texting and driving right there. Yeah. Um, a lot of our cars have start buttons now um, and you don't need a key. Put your keys in the back seat. Um, whatever you might need when you get to your destination. Another thing, you could easily put a shoe in the back seat or a sandal. Um, and when you get to your destination, you're more likely to remember, hey, I need that and you'll also remember your child's in the back seat with you, mm -hmm. especially if it's a break like in routine. What about, have you tested out or know about any of these apps out there? I believe we've done some stories or even, I think we did a story about an app and then we also did uh, something about a hanger that you could put on your rear view mirror, mm -hmm. kind of just a sign, a bright sign as a reminder as well. There are a couple different things, um, aftermarket products that, that are coming out. There's technology that's being developed. Um, there's a couple apps. There's one that's a, a bracelet that when you get out of uh, proximity of your child, it starts to alert, or if your child gets out of proximity of you, it starts to alert. Um, there's some that you can program uh, on your phone that when you reach your destination, it re chimes and tells you to remember your child. Um, there's a new car seat put out there by Evenflow just recently um, that um, uses, I think, GPS and um, alerts when you reach your destination as well has a real distinct um, chime to it um, but those those are new technologies that are starting to develop mm -hmm. and I think you'll see more of that in the future yeah for sure thank you so much for being here this morning